Why build a regular service truck when you can build the ultimate service truck? Our challenge today is to take this stock 2013 Silverado and outfit it from head to toe. And when the truck is done, it's going to be given away. So today's job is to create the ultimate federated service truck. And I think about this like an artist, right? We've got a blank slate. It all starts with this 2013 Chevy Silverado. Bone stock, nothing going on. That's all going to change. We have a lot of work to do to it. But as far as artistically, see, that's where the problem comes in for the two of us. The one you know? thing good about us is we know our limitations. Yes. And having <laughs> being artistic and putting concepts to paper and making it pop and then putting it to real life, definitely yeah. not our forte. So no, what we no, decided no. to do was, well, we use some connections. We know some people who know some people who know some really important people. So we've got the absolute best to design this service truck, and that is Sam Bass. Sam, pleasure to have you in our shop today, man. Nice, nice to, to meet have you. you. Sam, great Thank to you. see you, man. Thank yeah. you for coming out. Now, Sam Bass is the first officially licensed NASCAR artist, which is really cool, right? Yeah, it is. It's all I've ever dreamed of since I was seven years old. So. Now, when we're watching the race and all the cars are going by, is that all you? All the cars? Well, hopefully the ones that stand out the most. That's me. <laughs> the good ones are yours, right? <laughs> exactly. Very cool. So let's talk about this project real quick for a second. Where were we going with this? Well, it's a service truck, but, you know, you still want it to look really cool and have some aspects of a, you know, a hot rod, sure. you know? So I just tried to take the federated color palette, uh, which is a, a beautiful assortment of colors and, and the logos for the promotion and everything and tie everything all together so that it looked really, really cool. I think it's going to look awesome. So, hey, that being said, though, let's take a look at some of the other cool stuff, too. Because the kid right here, when I say the kid, I mean like the three-year-old, he's been wanting to get into I'm all I'm a little this. geeked out right now because these are something, something I can really get on board with. You know, I love the NASCAR stuff, and obviously the 24 car, well, that means a lot, you know, to be able to work with Jeff. But for me, it's drag racing. We've got the dragsters here, and this is uh -huh. a personal friend of mine, his car. This is one of the coolest designs I've seen. I think you can get on board with oh, the Oh, absolutely, dude. If you can involve heavy metal music. And dude, I'm all about it. And racing, right? Well, I tell you what, I mean, I, I, I'm a huge KISS fan, so that was a dream come true to get to work on that car. All right, well, let, me, let me ask you a whole lot here. <laughs> what was your favorite project to work on, your favorite design? <laughs> well, I did a lot of work uh, over the years with Dale Earnhardt. And I got to oh, design cool. a car for him for Wheaties one time that was really, really special because it was on millions of boxes of Wheaties. Oh, yeah. You know, so uh, that, was, that was really cool. Oh, that's very cool, man. I think, you know what, why don't you get to work? Let me hang with Sam. I've got a new car coming up, and I think I can maybe can coerce him to do a little work awesome. for the B-Man. I apologize for this. We need to get to work. <laughs> Bro, well, seriously. Well, why don't you head come, over? Just come with me. All right. You know what? I'll call. Uh, okay. All right? Cool. Sam, great. thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Sam. It. Pleasure to have you thank here, man. You. Now, Bruno, if one is going to build the ultimate service vehicle, one needs the ultimate service body, and that's exactly what this is all about. It's the Napide service body from Napide Manufacturing, and this is going to let you or you or whoever get a lot of work done. Yeah, when you're ready to step up to something like this, what you do is you call your local Napide distributor, you sit down with them, and you design a truck body that is going to fit you not only your vehicle but your needs because literally they make hundreds of different combinations in terms of compartment sizes, in terms of physical sizes, and it has to fit your chassis. So you go to them, you say, listen, this is what I want. They're going to mount it for you. They're going to design it for you. You've got the truck body you need, and then they paint match it to your vehicle. So you've got all these great compartments. Everything stays secure and stored away when you're going down the road. And then when you get there, because of all these sort of bins you get, you can custom design them for your needs. So you hit the job site. You take the bin. You've got all your parts and pieces in it. You go do your job. You come back. Everything stays in place. Boom. You throw it back into the compartment, and you are ready to move on to the next stop. And it's just that easy. Yeah, you're not wandering around looking for it all the time, right. right? You know what another feature I like is, once you get everything all closed up, you got the latches on here, everything's locked up and safe, right? But there's another added layer of protection, and it's an optional master lock system that you can get down there at the end. So this bar goes all the way through right along here, and it's a common lock for all three of these doors. It gives you yet another layer of protection. So this thing is tough too, man. 14 gauge steel all the way around, that's how they do it. They've got this eco plating, which can give an extra layer of protection in terms of rust proofing. Yep. You make an investment in that pipe, man, you're gonna get a quality piece that's gonna last a long time. I like it. Now look, we've got a lot of storage back here, a ton of it, but there's more. 
right here. This is the next step. These are the rocker pod cargo steps, and these are from Ultimate Truck Gear. It's going to be more storage down here on the side. These are cool. Yeah, they look really good, and they serve two purposes. You know, first you've got the step bar across the top. It's got that extruded aluminum, so you get a nice step. And you got the built-in steps in the sides, but this is where the magic happens Ooh. and what we're looking for. It's all that storage, man. You look how far back these go and how long they are. You can store a lot of stuff. Yep. It's easy to get to. It's going to be locked and secure. They've got the weather strip around the outside here, so stuff won't get messed up by the elements, and they go in pretty easily. You know, there's three mounting brackets, and they've got a slotted groove in them, so they'll bolt to your chassis. It's all level now. It's locked into place, yep. and then you use the bottom hole on each one of the brackets to lock it down. A lot of things going on right here in the rocker pods. I love these things. All right, we need to go to break right now. When we come back, it's time to start working on the suspension. Hey, welcome back. We are continuing on with our Federated Ultimate Service Truck Makeover. Now, the truck has got a lot of work that needs to be done today, and this is our first look underneath. We've got it up on the lift, and now it's time to attack the suspension. Now, we're going to redo the entire suspension underneath this truck, and the first thing first, we're going to start up front. Now, you can see we've got some of the stuff out of the way. Differentials out of the way. All the steering stuff is gone. Now, it's time to make some modifications to compensate for the 4-inch lift we're going to put in place. Now, if you look inside the directions, and it's important that you do from time to time, you know, you'll see that you need to modify this bracket. We're going to use this mounting point off it so the bracket itself is not going to go away. We just need to do a little cutting. Now, the same thing can be said for the, the housing right here. We need to go ahead and notch it a little bit, give a quarter inch edge take off. This way, everything will clear. We've got a line in place. We'll hit that and then feather it to fit. So the next part of the process for us really comes down to doing a little cutting. Pow! All right, so I made my cuts, the differential's back in place. Now it's time to start putting in our four inch lift kit we got from Rancho, and it all starts with this sub frame. All right, you get your bolts in down on that end? Yep, uh, hold Here, on. I'll hold this steady for you. So basically, you accomplish a four inch lift by dropping the front end down four inches, right? Which is what we're doing. And that all happens right here on this subframe. Oh, I got a plug in there. All right, cool. That'll be a little easier. So that allows us to relocate the lower control arms. That's where they bolted in before, so nice and easy. Now, what's cool about this kit is the fact that you think about the later model Chevys, right? And they're all running this torsion bar suspension. So what some of them will do is just relocate the torsion bar down in the front and the rear. Well, it looks kind of big. You can see it. It's really visible. Right. This one actually relocates that bracket up on the lower control arm and keeps it hidden up there. It keeps that stock geometry, which is what we want. And like I said, it's tucked away. It just looks better. And you get that factory ride with the four-inch lift. So once we got this all tied into place and just simply torquing it down with the nuts, we'll go ahead and put in our lower control arm. The factory one will go back into place. Then it's about the knuckles. You know, you can see right here, this is the new one. It's got a four inch lift to it versus the stock. And you know, it's just a matter of buttoning all this up and the front part of our lift kit is done. Now that we're getting the suspension where we want it, we can take a look at this torsion bar thing that we talked about earlier. Now, we were mentioning the fact that we have the relocator bracket. So if we did not relocate it, or if you relocated it in the front and back, this would be way down here. And not only would it be more visible and you would see it, but you would sacrifice some ground clearance as well. So that relocator bracket is very nice. Now, as we move on to the next step, it's all about the shocks. And these are the Rancho RS 9000s. What I like about these is the adjustability. You've got nine levels of on-the-fly adjustability as far as your dampening goes. Yeah, and they're going to give you great dampening because they're nitrogen filled. I mean, they're great features as well. I mean, the liquid metallic finish looks good. It's durable. Yep. It's going to last a long time. They went the extra mile, put the polyurethane bushings in it. You've got the boot cover here. They come with a 90-day safe ride guarantee as well as a limited lifetime warranty so you're covered there now it's just a matter of getting the fronts in place and then we'll go ahead and work to the backs so they look good and they work good we're nah, a big fan of novel that, right? novel idea right <laughs> <laughs> Now that the truck is going up in the air, it's going to look a lot more aggressive. So we need to match that up with a more aggressive sound, right? And we're going to do that with the Dynomax High Performance Exhaust System. This baby's going to sound good. You know, and it's going to perform as well. And, you know, it all goes to the magic right here in the muffler. It's an ultra flow design that Dynamax has, and it's going to give us the sound we want. There's going to be no restriction, and it's going to perform. You know, if you look at the way this thing is built, it's all welded construction. It's stainless steel 4-inch mandrel bend tubing. And, you know, what the nice part is, out the back, you've got this 18-inch polished stainless steel tips so it's going to have that custom look to match the custom sound man and that's Thanks what it's so. all about all right i'll handle this right 
You know what's really nice and what I like is, as far as the installation goes, it's nice and easy. It just goes in right where the stock one came out. We don't have to fab anything up, weld any brackets or anything. It just slides right in. Dang. You know, nice the two about um, Dynamax is the fact that they get stand behind their products. So when you know when you make a purchase with them, you're going to be satisfied with what you get. They give a 90-day customer satisfaction guarantee as well as a limited lifetime warranty. No matter which way you go, man, you are going to be set. And I'll tell you something, when you fire it up with this new muffler and exhaust system on, I guarantee that you're going to like like the sound. Very good. Cool. All right, I'm gonna hold this. You got that? Side. Yeah. It's like we're almost done already. Quick, baby, we're experts. This five inch stainless polished tip is gonna be a nice way to finish off the look on this Dynamax exhaust. This is gonna be very good. Now we need to go to break right now, but when we come back, we're gonna take it on up to the front. We got a massive front bumper for this thing. Coming in. Watch oh, out. that's right about there. Yeah, don't get it swinging too much, man. This thing is heavy. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Truck U. So now it's time to do a little facial reconstructive surgery up on the front of this work truck. And it all starts here with this Boondock 95 series front bumper. This thing, now look, when you look at it, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I'm thinking this is just a beefy piece, man. It's <laughs> massive. It's made of 316 steel. This thing isn't going anywhere. And when you mount it on these big brackets and they're quarter inch thick boxed end steel, this thing is not going anywhere, at least without this lift. Yeah, the Boondock front bumper commands attention, to say the very least. So we've got holes already right there. They're ready for lights coming up. We've got mounting brackets up on the top, and it will also hold up to a 16,000 pound capacity winch. That's going to be a nice thing indeed for a work truck, you know? Now we're going to complement this with a set of very rugged lights. Now these are from Grody. Now these things are great because they can take a beating. They've got a tough polycarbonate lens. It doesn't fade with UV light. You know, they've got the big heat dissipating fins in the back. Yep. So these things are going to last a long time. It'd be a great complement to this bumper. So that's the Trilliant work light. There'll be two of those up on the top of the bumper. Then we've got these T26s and those will mount inside the holes right there. So that's a lot of light going on in the front of the truck. Now we've got these Trillion work lights, the oval ones, and those will go on the corners of the bed back there as well so they can light it up in all the different directions. And these slim lights go inside the toolboxes, so it's beautiful. I mean, there's gonna be light coming out of every direction on this truck. <laughs> It's like storage room. You can never have too much, right? All these lights from Grody are really going to make a big impact on this truck. Bruno, there's a lot of good things going on with this truck, right? But here's one that I think is really going to make it pop. When we take a look at the 20-inch Black Rock wheels on these 35-inch Arturo tires, and we get these babies on there, it's going to take it to a whole new level, man. Yeah, you know, I'm all about these wheels because they've got a nice look to it. You know, Black Rock is known for having that rough, rugged look to it on yep. a lot of Jeeps, a lot of trucks. But, you know, the anthracite color on it really, I think, makes the whole thing pop. It's powder-coated, it's a nice finish, and you put it up against the white truck, man, it's going to be a nice combination. <laughs> It'll really work together well. Cool thing about Black Rock is they've got them for you know four-wheelers and ATVs and side-by-sides and all that stuff too so we've worked with those guys a lot in the past now let's talk about this though bigger wheels and tires we've got the heavy box on the back now we've got a lot more truck to stop than we originally did and that is why now we need to upgrade the brakes and we're gonna do that with these Ray Bestos brakes that we got from Federated Auto Parts now anytime you upgrade your wheels and tires you need to upgrade your brakes as far as I'm concerned you know it just makes sense you can never have too much braking power now with a truck like this we decided to go with these monster right here rotors and you look at the size of these things they're huge and they're going to give us a lot of contact area for the new brake pads. What's nice about these is we got these S groove slots drilled into the sides of them. And what they do is they allow you to get better braking power by dissipating gases and heat that happens when you're doing extreme braking. Now I'm talking about a situation where you're driving down the road and a soccer ball rolls out in front of you. When you hit the pedal, you want this thing <laughs> yeah. to sit down and stop. And this is going to allow us to do that. You want to mate that up with the right pads as well. Now these Raybestos pads are made with a ceramic material that's specifically designed to hold up better and work better under more extreme conditions, which is what's gonna happen with this truck when you factor in the bigger tires and the heavier load. Around the shop, when we can't get to a fastener, we use the tight reach extension wrench. It allows us to get to the, the fastener we need, put a ratchet or an impact on the back end. We can tighten or loosen it. It's really a lifesaver. The suspension is done and the wheels and tires are on. Now, ordinarily, we would ship this out to the alignment shop and have them handle their business. But the cool thing is, we've got this quick trick right here from Alignment Simple Solutions, and we can check the specs ourselves. Yeah, we've got the new app. It's called Quick Specs, and you download it for your mobile device, and it gives you the, the specs you need to have the proper alignment, your tow-in, camber, caster. So we'll compare what we've got to what we need, make the proper adjustments, and it'll give us something to do while you guys take a break. Because we come back, we've got more truck you. Yeah, that saves us from making a trip. Yeah which is nice.
Welcome back to Truck U. So earlier today, we were using these tight reach extension wrenches from TR Tools, and these are cool because a lot of times, let's say you've got to get this somewhere where it's real tight, right? And your hand won't fit, and you're going one click at a time, and that job's going to take forever. Well, that's exactly what these are about. Yeah, what they're going to do is give you a 10-inch reach so you can get up into those tight fit areas where you've got, you know, hot parts, you've got oil maybe up against an oil pan, or you've got something really sharp. Keep your hands away from that, and you can get full swing and full use out of your ratchet like that. Now, if you want to get after a little bit, you put in your impact wrench. Get on there, dude. That's, it's like a drop transfer case for your wrenches. I love it. Boom. Look at that. And then you can actually clip these together. So now you've got up to 20 inches of reach, which that. is really nice. And it comes in both quarter inch and three eighths drive. And you can't get these in store. So you need to check out the TR Tools website. Very cool. This is the Hot Shot Secret Stiction Eliminator from Lubrication Specialties, and it is specifically designed to deal with stuck injectors. Now, 99% of the time, if you've got a diagnosis as an injector being stuck, it doesn't need to be replaced. It's not broken. What it needs is the stiction to be cleaned out and allow it to flow freely. By pouring in Hot Shot Secret Stiction Eliminator, it allows those injectors to fire back in time, allows that engine to run good going down the road, and also treat the other components of your engine, including that turbocharger. It's the Hot Shot Secret Stiction Eliminator from Lubrication Specialties. And this is the Reese Toe Power Carbon Forged Ball Mount. Now, what makes this unique is the fact that it is a one piece design. There are no welds. See, when you remove the welds, you remove the weakness in the hitch. So, this unique one piece design is going to give you a lot greater towing capacity. Now, it comes in different finishes, it comes in different drops, two and three inch, and different ratings from six to seven thousand pounds. What's great about this, too, is another patented feature it's the interlock system right here. It's going to give you one wrench tightening because there's a little recessed area here where the ball sits down into. So, now you only need one wrench on the bottom. The top will be locked in place, you spin it there and you are locked up, good to go. These things have also been road tested up to 100,000 miles, so you know they're going to hold up. It's a good deal. It's the Reese Toe Power Carbon Forged Ball Mounts. LMC Truck is the place to go when you're replacing any piece or part on your truck. And it's cool because they do them for all the major manufacturers and they've got parts going back to the 40s, which really comes in handy, especially if you're looking for something like this. Now, these are temperature control devices for 73 to 91 Chevy or GMC trucks, and they are a direct replacement. So you know they're going to fit and you know they're going to get the job done. The great thing about LMC Truck is you get one of their free catalogs. You flip through it, you find that hard to find part that you're looking for. You can check them out online, call the 1 800 number, you're going to get the Part you need, and you're going to get it quick. You can get continuing on with that restoration project. Speaking of continuing on, we need to continue on with that work truck. Yeah, you're right. These are pretty neat, though. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speed.com or visit our website at truckutv.com. This segment of Truck U is brought to you by Aturo Tire, performance within reach. Coming out, boss. All right, hit it. Be careful this time. We don't want another incident. <laughs> Welcome back to Truck U. So we can't build the ultimate service vehicle and not have a way to power all of our power tools, right? That's where this comes in. It's the Goodall Power Center 1110 from Goodall Manufacturing. What I like about it is it has everything all in one unit. So we've got our welder, we've got our generator, and our air compressor all in one. And this is going to give you all the juice you need when you're on the work site. You know, you talk about the welder. It's got a 170 amp welder, so it'll do all the maintenance welding you need. It's got the long 25 foot lead, so you're good there. And electrical power, 4,000 watts of AC power, man. So all those lights, heaters, electric tools you need on the job site, man, this thing will have you charged up and ready to go. And nobody wants to listen to a loud generator all day long. This has an auto idle function, which I really like. So when it's not under power, it's going to idle down, use less fuel, and be quieter. So you don't have that annoying sound in the background, right? It's the good old Power Center 1110. It's exactly what this truck needed. Yeah. I've made my way around the back of the truck to install a nice little accessory. Now, this is coming from Trail Ridge Technologies. It's the Quick View wireless backup camera. And this thing is really nice because it installs in literally five minutes. The installation process is easy. On a normal application where you're putting on a normal pickup or a car, bolts right through the license plate holder. Now, us, since we want to put it center and we've got this big box on back, we're going to drill a couple holes. This will go right here. We'll get a nice view. We'll be able to see our hitch pin, everything we want in the back of the truck. 
Now, when it comes to mounting stuff inside the cab, it's really easy to do. You've got Velcro strips right here. You've got this little command center that will attach to. All you have to do is hook it up to your cigarette lighter to power the thing up. And there you go, man. Oh. This is a nice little system we got from Trail Ridge Technologies. It's a quick view wireless backup camera. It is cool. It's fun, too. Hey, so here's the deal back here. We've got all this extra storage capacity in the nap hide box, right? So we fill that all up with tools, potentially. And, of course, we want to be able to get at the tools, but we don't want anybody else to be able to get at them, if you know what I'm talking about. So what do we do? We lock it all down, and we're going to do that with these bolt locks from Stratech. Now, Stratech is the world's largest manufacturer of automotive locks and keys. You all right back there, Mark? Mm -hmm, good. All right, just checking on you. They've got them for all the major manufacturers, and these things are tough. Now, here's what I like best about these locks. When you buy them, you'll notice they don't come with a key. They don't have to, because all you need is your vehicle key right there. You put your truck key in, and you put it in once, and you turn it, and now that lock is keyed to your key. Take a look at that. It's nice. So here's the deal. Whether we've got one of the two-inch padlocks like that one there, or we've got the receiver hitch pin lock right there, or the six-foot cable lock, it doesn't matter. We could have those three or four or 35 of them. Who cares? All we need is one key to lock everything down, and that's what I like about it, dude. So we roll up in here with this extra security bar that's in this box. Boom. Nobody's getting at our stuff now, right? That's very cool. Love it. You know, when I stop and think about all the things that we've added to this truck and the upgrades, I mean, the list is long. You've got the Dynamax exhaust, the Black Rock wheels. You know, we've got the big good old manufacturing unit in the bed of the truck. I mean, it's, it's just, where does it end, right? It, well, it doesn't just yet because next thing to do is upgrade the battery. And what we're going to do is use a Federated Auto Parts AGM battery. So it's an absorb glass mat battery. That's what that stands for. It's maintenance free. You put it in and forget about it. Second of all, it's going to last longer. These things have a lot longer life to them. Yeah. And when you're talking about new vehicles today, we've got all these accessories going on. You want something that's going to keep up, especially with all the stuff we're going to be doing to this truck. Yeah. The last you want to be is out in the field and have your battery die. Now, to go along with it, with our good all unit in back, we're going to put in one of their Power Sports AGM batteries as well. So it's all going to work together. Hey, speaking of good all, another cool thing that we got from them is a set of these booster cables. Now, this is nice too because this will go right in the front, right? And this will go up there in the front by the grill. These will tie into the battery. That way, if you need to jump a vehicle off, all you got to do is plug it in. You don't even have to open the hood anymore. So that's going to make life that much easier. So that's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, that's a nice option. Man. I like it. Hey, hey guys, hey, how's, Phil, how's, it going, how's our Federated Service truck coming? Well, you tell us. We think it looks great. I think it looks wonderful, man. I can't believe uh, with what we brought in here what it looks like now. It's going to make one of our Federated Car Care members very, very happy. Well, well, I, think it I think it is the time to present you with the key, man, because cool. the job is done, buddy. Done, done. Yeah. What about a bumper? You know what? Matt is going to take over here, man. You got that, right, buddy? Phil, great to see you. As always, man, thanks for working with us on this project. It was great. Phil, are you starting to see how it goes around here? Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, a lot of heavy lifting on these shoulders. You know. Hey, I wanted to ask you, is Federated Highway?